Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage. Um, so I hope everybody's having a good day, good evening, good week, all that kind of good jazz. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a t-shirt here in January. Uh, we're having a little bit of a heat wave here in Pennsylvania. I think it got all the way up to like 50 degrees today, which is awesome because it's the first time, you know, the last couple days, first time in a couple weeks it's been above freezing. As you can see, all the snow is finally melted. Um, I don't plow the driveway at all because, well, everything I have is four-wheel drive, so I just don't worry about it. But we don't have to worry about that right now because everything has melted, it's thawed. It's just great to get rid of that snow. Um, it's just a pain in the ass. That and, you know, I'm in short sleeves, which is nice. So we don't have the heater on the garage. We can have the door open, just all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, I pulled Caitlin in. We're actually gonna be showing Caitlin a little love. Um, what we got here, what is wrong with Caitlin? I don't know if you guys will be able to see back here. If you can see, there's some black stuff. We actually have an exhaust manifold gasket or two leaking back there. So these bolts just keep loosening up on me. I've retightened them, but I, the gasket was already destroyed by then. So we're gonna swap those out with these studs and nuts from Pure Diesel Power. Um, they were, I don't know, 50 some bucks or whatever. So we're gonna actually swap those out and the exhaust manifold gaskets, which I have here. These are beat from BD. Um, it's actually like a T4 turbo kit. Um, it comes with a turbo gasket, but we use that when we change the turbo setup on the white truck. So we're just gonna be using these. My plan is to pull the filter and all to get a little more access and not disrupt the turbo. I think what my plan is, is to take all but say two bolts out, um, let's say four bolts, loosen everything up, take all but four out, and then replace the studs, at least a couple of them, take the rest of the bolts out, you know, and swap all our gaskets and all while we're doing that, and just kind of try and leave the manifold and everything in place. So I, I'm hoping it'll work. I mean, access here behind the turbo will be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but that's it, but I just don't feel like pulling the whole thing out, you know, got our oil feed, our oil drink, just a bunch of little shit to take off, but we will remove the filter and all. So that's kind of the game plan. I did notice when I popped the hood here that we do have some oil here on the side of the engine, right here. So I think what that is, is actually from this, from the CCV delete. As you can see, if I wipe it down my rag, it's pretty dirty. We're getting some, uh, oil out of it so we might look at and i don't know whether that'll be tonight yeah and you can see it running down the side here we're gonna look at moving that and you know probably put a hose in to go down and just you know let it drip on the ground it's not that much oil but i really don't want it right on that exhaust manifold that probably would not be too good so that's our uh, game plan for this evening at least for uh the beginning of the evening, we'll see how far we get and see how much of a pain in the ass this is. Got two bolts in the front, two bolts in the back. I got our four center gaskets out. You can see the rear one was leaking a little bit there. Um, the back two were definitely loose again and I had tightened them up previously. And it seems to be always those ones that are hard to get. I don't know why. But 
So as you can see, we have everything. I had to take the turbo apart. I had to take the compressor cover off the turbo and drop the intercooler pipe. So that way I could get in there. There's definitely not that much room, but it is doable. I also had to take apart my eight millimeter socket and I put this ratcheting wrench on there so I could get in to where underneath the, uh, the center of the manifold. So I was able to do that. Um, and the center ones here I had to get with a um, Allen as well. So going back, I do have uh, universal sockets, so they'll be perfect for this. So what we'll do is we'll kind of get a gasket started on the top one there, and then we'll swing it down the bottom stud, put our bottom stud in. So that's the game plan. Um, yeah, so I think we'll be able to get this done tonight. Shouldn't be any, any issue. And now that I said that, I probably just jinxed myself. All right, so all the studs are in, all the bolts are in, they're tight. Um, when I tighten these up, I usually, in the center here, I'll do the top one, the bottom one, you know, just do a little cross pattern in the center, and then I'll do each foot individually. To me, you know, I'll work from the inside out, and same in the back, but the center part, I kinda, you know, crisscross and bring it up even. Um, I had some trouble getting the bottom studs in and this one up here, so I double nutted it and then was able to get it in with the Allen on the bottom. One of them, I drew it in with this nut here and I was able to screw it in by hand. And then on the other one in the bottom, I just had to do it with the uh, trusty five millimeter Allen and just do it half for a quarter turn at a time. Um, I guess I, like I said, I brought it up with this nut, just trying to, you know, figuring the manifold was sagging down. So everything's tight. Um, we're going to put the turbo back together, hook the intercooler pipe up. And then really after a couple of heat sec, actually I'll probably clean that oil up now underneath that PCV. Um, but, um, after a couple of heat cycles, what I'll do is I'll probably run the truck through the weekend and then, you know, Monday or Tuesday, pull pull back apart and retighten everything double check everything because you know with the expansion contraction from heating up it's you know they're probably going to end up being loose um but that goes with any manifold header anything like that run it through a couple heat cycles to tighten it back up so i'm going to get this turbo back together which is still spinning good so we'll get that uh turbo back in uh, or compressor cover, I should say, hook our intercooler pipe up, put our filter on, and we will be done with this, but first we're gonna clean that oil. Started her up, no bad noises. Oh, look at the fan go. Um, so, everything seems good. Here's our gaskets. Here's our gaskets, so um, these are, these are 
one through four gaskets. Um, as you see, that they're actually still in good shape. We probably could have gotten away with just changing out number six, which is the real fucked up one. But as you can see, um, number five had a little bit of leakage as well. I had tightened those rear two up before, but even though these are metal gaskets, like with any engine, if you start getting an exhaust leak, it will eat away at your gasket. Like I said, I tried tightening it up to see if we could save it, but it was already too far gone. Um, this was a while back. This is something I've been meaning to do for a while now. So could we have gotten away with just changing this? Possibly, but you might as well just do them all. As you guys would have saw, it's not that big a deal. Two things that really did make it possible were my Allens. I had, this is a ball head Allen. Um, I think that's what the name is. But anyway, these Allens have a cut so you can get in at an angle. I really need to get these in a socket set for metric. I think I have a standard, you know what? No, I don't. I don't think I have any of the socket versions of these. The other thing were these universal sockets. As you can see, it actually, this is a 15 millimeter, which we used on our studs or our nuts. So it's a 15 millimeter socket connected directly to a universal and then a 3 8 drive. I have a set of these for metric. And I'll tell you what, these things are lifesavers um, when you're working in the engine compartment. Just allow you to get in places and you don't have that addition of a, uh, you know, like a universal, like your normal socket be here. And then you have the universal and it's just one less thing and it makes it more compact. Definitely a lot easier to get in places. So if you're going to be doing a lot of work on your truck, I would certainly pick up a set of these. You never know when they come in handy. And as always, ratcheting box wrenches, especially the reversible ones, are fantastic. Hemorrhage in a little bit. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we switched those bolts out to studs. Hopefully the studs will keep the tension on the manifold. Um, previously with the bolts, I did you know, let it go through a couple heat cycles and tighten them up a couple of times. Um, this is actually not the first time that this has happened. I think it's the first time I've done it without pulling the turbo. Um, but we switched the studs. Well, yeah, we, we switched the studs, so hopefully that'll be better, but we will tighten them up a couple of times. Like I said, those couple of tools, definitely good things to have in your toolbox, uh, especially for this job, otherwise be a pain in the ass. Um, another thing, I didn't disconnect the battery. You probably should. You're swinging wrenches and stuff around the, um, the grid heater, solenoid, and the battery. It's a good idea. I definitely shocked myself a couple times, you know, leaning on the positive battery terminal and touching the motor, you get that little tangle. Um, so that's something you should disconnect the batteries. It's something I neglected to do and shouldn't have. So once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Get out in your garage, get the wrenching on your truck,